Right, welcome back to another episode of Hooners Garage and today it's more carrying on with the uh, ratification of the FJ1200 known as Fudge so Fudge Rat or Rat Fudge don't know, something along those lines um, just trying to figure out how to make the back end look I've managed to get hold of some cardboard so I can knock up some sort of template this could all go horrible I've never done, well I fabricated a bracket to hold the new clocks for the GSX there's a few videos on that as well um, but this is the first time that I would have put something together actually custom build like a I don't know what you'd call it the back end for the bike so I think we'll start off with cardboard rather than start cutting up the steel so stick around stay tuned we'll see how badly wrong I get this right so familiar sight back end of the FJ um, I've worked out that I need from about here forwards is enough space for seat if I use this seat pan which I probably will do um, but here forward is where I need to park my ass from there back is pretty much free space so if we take this off that gives me from about there from this sticker back I've got space so the other issue with that is as you can see is the contour of the rear I don't know, rear mud guard assembly type thing where it angles up so I've got to try and find a way around that and then obviously make something about it's a rat bike so I'm not overly concerned about how it looks um, because it's just a rat bike but I do want it to be right if that makes any sense so wait for the light to adjust one cardboard box one Stanley knife let's see where we go right I don't know if you're going to see that but it's absolutely hamming it down out there so we're back in the garage I have fitted another light in here so we get some more light so I've got the first cut out done to cover the back end so it looks like that it's a bit basic I know but I'm not an advanced metal fabrication guy so it sort of stays like that get around the right way so it goes in like that now I don't want it too wide so I want to sort of come in along the side of the rails here okay so I think these brackets are going to need to come off and also this handle though this handle is used when to pull the bike up on the center stand bike no longer has a center stand and I think once it's completed if I do need to put if I do put the center stand back in I can use this bottom rail here to grab hold of so I'm fairly confident I can remove that I've no actually to be fair I never used it anyway um, so there we go so angle grinder time to get those off right it, yeah it does look very professional but then it is just a rat bike but that's what I've come up with so far just a box on the back really so I've got a flat level that I can put tent sleeping bags I can bungee that too I'm also considering putting a small bar that comes up around here so I can a bungee stuff to the back of it a bit more support at the back for the camping gear and then I've cut the seat pan down and narrowed it a bit as well that's how it stands at the moment Let's see if we can get a better angle of it there we go yeah it's uh, yeah I quite like it still maintains that short stockiness and gives me somewhere to put my camping equipment and I'm also thinking that this and the electrics on the other side can be moved and stuck in there I think may have to get that checked out I don't know if it will make any difference I think that's the it says digital igniter on it so I think that's the CDI unit and I think I can move that in there with the indicators well the indicator relays under the seat but whatever those are that one and that one it's bound to be for something important hoping I can relocate them underneath that and in the hump at the back and then that solves the problem of what to do at the front I can hopefully I'll 
if I chase this cabling round, most of it goes to these anyway. So hopefully I can put that on the back and it gets rid of all the wiring at the front. And then use this bracket to mount some headlights on. So a couple of just big round fucking yeah, big round things. Um or possibly make something that comes up over there around there. Three headlights. I don't know. The headlights on the FJ are standard are pretty naff. So I want something that's gonna emit a decent amount of lights at night. A decent amount of light at night. But there we go. Let me get it back a bit. It's not the best of angles, but yeah. Right, these are the server doors that I got from work, and I'm thinking this metal bar along here. I've got loads of them. There's one there. There's one there. There's another one that goes up there on both sides. Um, I can use that bar when the camera adjusts to the light. There we go. Finally, to just put a hoop. It doesn't have to be that big. I mean, something maybe that. It's about there on the back. Just a, a hoop. So I can bungee stuff to the back of it without it falling off the back. Yeah. Right, well that's it for another episode of Hooners Garage. Probably not very exciting. Um, I didn't video me cutting out bits of cardboard and things like that because it's just boring. So just the end result. Um, it does take actually a fair amount of time to cut it and make it fit and everything else. So, But it is time to go home and get some dinner. So put the bikes away and then I can just have another think about if I'm happy with that. It's a bit boxy but then I'm not a fabrication specialist and I'm not sure I can put nice curves in it or anything else so I've still got to cut it and I've still got to weld it or actually I've got to cut it and I've probably got to ask somebody else to weld it but there we go. So yeah a bit more ratification of the FJ quite like that I still like the short end I really don't want to put the fairing back on it I really like it without the fairing it's got a nice aggressive stance without the fairing a couple of big headlights on the front job done uh, then spray the whole thing matte black so nice and easy so there we go ride safe and I'll see you on the next episode of Hooners Garage